Hello all, in this video we will be learning how to run a Groovy script in a Gremlin console. Let's move ahead and see the Groovy script that we needed to use in this video. Let's understand it line by line. In the first line, we are creating a graph object using tinkergraph.open. In the second line, we are importing the data using graphml format and data is available in this file. So what this line will be doing is, this line will import the data which is available in this file. If you want to understand this line in more deep, you can refer to our previous video. In the third line, we are creating a graph traversal object. Using this object, we can traverse the whole graph. Or I should say we can query the graph. Now the fourth line is println. This is just used to print the line on the console. So in all these println, we are just using these to print the output in a nice format. What output are we printing? We are trying to print the number of vertices and the number of edges that are being inserted. And we are just calculating those using these kinds of gremlin queries. So basically this is a simple script using which we can import data into Janus Graph. I will be adding this script in this file on my git repository and add the link in the description of the video so that you can also use these. Now let's move ahead and see the different ways using which we can run this particular script in gremlin console. So there are three ways in all using which we can run a Groovy script in the gremlin console. The first one is after opening gremlin console. That is, first open the gremlin console, copy the script and just paste it on the console. Secondly, using the hyphen E option. Thirdly, using the hyphen I option. We can do this practically using this command. What we are doing in this command is we are just using a gremlin.sh script providing a hyphen E option to it and after that hyphen E option we are providing the path of the Groovy script that we need to run. The same way we can use hyphen I option also. Now what is the difference between hyphen E option and hyphen I option? We will be seeing this when we run the script practically. Now let's move ahead and try all these options one by one. Let's start with the first one. For this, let me open the terminal. Let me zoom it a bit. Let's go to the Janus Graph distribution that we already have. Let's open the Gremlin console. Let's get the script file now. Let's just copy the whole script. Let's go back to the terminal and paste the whole script as it is. Now we can see that using this command, the data has been inserted. Using this, the traversal object has been created. The number of vertices that is ingested is 6 and the number of edges that are ingested are also 6. So this is the first way using which we can run the Groovy script. Let's go back to the slides and see the second way. The second way is to do it with hyphen E option. Let's try this also. Let's go back to the terminal. Let's exit the gremlin console using colon exit command. Let's clear the console also. Now let's use the second option. Here we have provided the gremlin.sh script. Secondly, we have provided a hyphen E option. And thirdly, we have provided the Groovy script that we need to run. Let's hit enter and see the output. See, we can see that data ingestion is successful. The number of vertices that are ingested are 6. And the number of edges that are ingested are also 6. Let's go back to the slides and See the third option. The third option is to use hyphen i in the command. Let's go back to the terminal and do the same. Let's just change the option in the last command that we fired. Let's see here. This has also run the script. Data ingestion is successful. And the number of edges and vertices are printed. Just try to see the difference between hyphen e and hyphen i option. When we used hyphen E option, the Groovy script was executed, but we were on the same terminal. 
but when we use hyphen i option that is interactive mode groovy script is executed and after that gremlin console is also open so these were the three options using which we can execute a groovy script using a gremlin console thank you for watching the video